Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One Dungeon, the man on the sticks. Uh, yep. We're playing Madden 20 for mm. that fine, the sexy self sitting there on your bed watching our video. I see you. Ooh. I see you. Ooh. I know, Jonas. I know. Oh. <laughs> What you doing after this video? Oh, you know. <laughs> no, uh, not you. I'm talking to them. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, I was about to tell mm -hmm. you anyway. No. Yeah. What are you, yeah. Doing? what are you doing after the video then? You can tell uh, me. Uh, I think I got to make some food. Like You're going to make food some prep. food. Yeah, I got to food prep a little bit. Yeah, what are you going to make? Uh, Picadillo. Oh, man. I haven't made it in a few weeks. I'm Picadillo crazy right now. Well, nobody know what that business is, It's man. basically just like kind of like a hash, but like it has like... Like potatoes and ground beef and jalapenos and onions and garlic and tomatoes. And it looks like feces to me. <laughs> it doesn't look the most beautiful, but it tastes amazing. Right, I've, I've never had it. but If it didn't have beef, you'd eat it, I'm sure. It'd be all vegetables. It's beef in it? Yeah, there's ground beef in it. Or, or I've, I've made it with pulled pork, too, but made, ground beef, it, I think it tastes the best. It gives the most consistency difference when you try to like eat it. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't put beef in it, I'm sure you would like it. It's just all vegetables in a thing. No, nah, I don't eat foods I can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you couldn't pronounce pica dio. Yeah, see, I don't know how to spell that either. <laughs> I need to be sure on how to spell some stuff. I got you. That's a lie, because I don't know how to spell lasagna. And <laughs> Like, I love I'll be it. Dish, some lasagna. Jonas, which culture has the best food, dude? Is it, is it Spanish? Is it Italian? Is it American? Is it um, French? Okay, L now let me ask you this. What's up? There's the, cause this, there's a difference in this question. Is it purely based on taste, calories, <laughs> important? What the frick are you talking about? Or is it about? a, or is it like, uh, like best value? Like it's not too bad for what? you and it tastes good. <laughs> I don't know why you have to pervert every. <laughs> You pervert every question. Well, this is the easiest question. It's like I could ask a three-year-old this question. They'd be like, "I like spaghetti." You're like, "Well, let's well, let's weigh the the consequences of each one here." <laughs> it tells you how my brain works. That's freaking that's nuts, my dude. That's life, TNT Dynamite. I'm, every the second anything goes into my head, that's what I think. What do you mean that's what you think? It's immediately, well, what if this and what if that? You, then don't ask me that. Just weigh all options in your head. I can't. I gotta verbally process it. This, who makes the best tasting effing food, dude? Chicken do, do you wings. Like American, I guess, because I, I, <laughs> I'm chicken wings. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> no, nah, dude. Push me in a corner. <laughs> yeah, you're in a corner. Chicken wings. All right. American. Fair enough. Fried, boiled. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine trying to eat boiled chicken? Yeah, just boil them and put some sauce in them. Oh, just dude. put some sauce in the water. It would be like, oh my god. It's so They're like, there's so much skin. Oh my god. I'm almost gross. I almost threw up. <laughs> Me and Jonas were talking the other day about. So if you like it, if you get COVID nineteen on your food, and then you, uh, <laughs> would you say if you grill them or something, deep fry, deep fry them, does that kill it? And I was like, well, I guess, yeah, but could you just boil them then? Just boil all your food from now on. <laughs> we talked about getting the chicken wings deep fried and then bringing them home and boiling them in case yes. they popped on it after we after they made oh, it. Oh, <laughs> can you? I don't even know what that would do. It's a mystery. It would be weird. I don't even know what that would do if you deep fried a chicken wing and, boiled and then it. boiled it. I imagine it would be better than just straight boiling. No, it. I don't think it would. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> just the gummy, the gummy skin would be better than like crispy, then re water saturated skin. I have to. Oh. I have to. Think. I feel like if you boil the, an already deep fried chicken wing, it would like break down. It would deteriorate. Yeah, you just have bones. It would just like it would all separate, and it would just be it would be like a chicken wing soup. Yeah, I, I have to say that boiling is arguably the worst way to prepare any food, <laughs> unless it's meant to be a soup. Then it's fine. Yeah. Because when you make like homemade chicken noodle soup, you do boil chicken, but then you shred it and put veggies and it makes the stock, uh, you know? That's, uh, that's like what you do. <laughs> uh, but like, 
I don't, other than that, like, is there any... Well, I guess you boil potatoes to make mashed potatoes. Yeah, but you're not eating, like, boiled potatoes. And this, that's the Irish thing, Jones. But no, but, like, when you bake, when you make mashed potatoes, you boil them before you mash them. So, like, you people, American food... Do you just, like, toss a boiled potato and then, like, put that bad boy on a plate? No, you got, you're making You mash but when you're making mashed potatoes. It is, it's a step in a process to get somewhere. Right, right. Whereas deep frying, you deep fry it, put it on the plate, eat. Oh, okay. Grill, I see. you like, grill it, you put fi- it on the bread. Where the final result is you eat it. Yeah. After boiling <laughs> It's always it's always vegetables, yeah. The only thing that tastes good boiled is vegetables, and that's argue, arguable because yeah, vegetables are good. Yeah, it still doesn't get a lot good. of flavor, but it makes it softer. Like, I used mm-hmm. to just, that's how I like to cook broccoli, like a steam slash boil sort of thing. Because then they're like, nah, it doesn't taste like you're eating a tree. <laughs> Oh no, I F with broccoli. I uh, like bro- I like I just don't like raw broccoli very much. Cooked broccoli I'm really on. I'm gonna have to like uh when I think of what culture has the best food, I would hmm, really is a toss up between Italian and uh and American for me, I guess. Yeah, see I I'm not big on Italian food. I like spaghetti Dude. and stuff, but I'm very particular about sauce. So like it uh that kind of makes a difference on me. Like, I, I can't just go to any Italian restaurant because I may not like their sauce and then I won't like anything they have. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, I can find other stuff. I'll eat Alfredo or whatever, but, like, tomato, was tomato sauce, if it's sweet at all or has too much chunk in it, mm. I, don't, I just don't like it. See, you know, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty up in the air for that. Like, uh, lasagna is, like, top three favorite foods for me. I had this one lady I worked I worked at a job one time. This was a long time ago. And she was like, you want to make lasagna? Bring it in. I was like, all right, it better be good, though. She made lasagna, and it had so much pepperoni in it. It was just, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like she had pepperoni noodles, and noodles were a part of the lasagna instead yeah. of like- <laughs> It was like there was more pepperoni in it than there was, like, lasagna shelves. <laughs> <laughs> the shelves of lasagna. And it was the best lasagna that I've ever had. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard like pepperoni in a lasagna is. It was so good. I've never had lasagna that was quite as good as that. But still, I will always, I will always be like, hey, is your lasagna better? Vegetable yeah. lasagna, pff, get out of town. You don't even like vegetable lasagna? No, I do. I mean, get oh. out of town. I, I, as I, I, in I, a you, good like, way. I like regular lasagna so much that I'll be like vegetable lasagna. <laughs> No, I'm, there's no. Honestly, I don't think there's a wrong way to prepare lasagna. I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to come at me with some fish lasagna, just to try it and be like, "Yeah, I don't, how can you f it up? It's cheese, meat, and uh, freaking noodles, sausage, <laughs> like stacked, like yeah. layer upon layer uh, of it. You want to throw some extra, like yeah, like some pepperoni or some Italian sausage in there or something? Like, yeah. I used to have people make it with like hamburger, or they would also uh, make it with. Uh, yeah. With Italian sausage and hamburger, or like yep. even just a ton of ricotta cheese, dude. Oh my god, just cheese lasagna is good too. See, Jones, when it comes to food, I'm a mixy boy. Oh, you like to stir it up? Yeah, dude. I don't mind thing is together. Some people, that's like a phobia. I know, like those people who have to partition the foods on their plate, or the <sighs> people that have to like eat all of the French fries, then eat their burger, then eat, they don't eat, no. they don't like go from thing to thing. They like eat all of one thing and move on. Yeah, not that guy. No, let everything touch, dude. I'm piling stuff on top of other stuff. <laughs> if I well, run out of like space, the buffet strategy is my preferred style <laughs> it of eating. Really is too. <laughs> Just throw it on a plate, and I'll get. Yeah, to it. I'm gonna take a bite of mashed potatoes, mix it with a bite of stuffing and some turkey, and then I'm gonna put all of that in my mouth. It's gonna be there anyway, right? That's true. It's, it's all about the going in the same. It's going in the same hole. Yeah, I feel you coming out the same hole too. You dang right. You dang right, Jonas. Once it gets inside you, it's together till the end. Yep. The only thing that'll prevent me from mixing a food together is hot and colds. I don't like mixing hot and colds. Yeah, me neither. I didn't. That's why I didn't put uh, didn't put vegetables on like my burgers for the longest time, because I don't like like mixing. Uh, I'm a very oh. much a texture person when it comes to food. Yeah. So like mixing like a hot like squishy burger with a crunchy cold piece of lettuce and onion just didn't do it to me. All right. So. I agree with the lettuce and even with the tomato. Even though I'll get tomato on a burger, I'll take the tomato off, eat it, and then eat the burger because I do like tomato. 
I kind of agree with that. But sauteed onions on a burger? Oh, yeah, yeah, because they're soft <laughs> and they're hot. Get out of town. Dude, and you know what's funny is I didn't eat grilled onions until maybe about, uh, well, been, been a couple years now. And now they're like, dude, they're one of my favorite foods. Grilled onions are so good. Oh my god, I like. I've started. I mean, I guess I've started food prepping and cooking like three onions, and then I have grilled onions to put on everything I eat during the I week. Mean, I, I guess welcome to the party, but we, I know, we already so knew we we we've known this for years. And, dude, it reminds me of like in you, Manland. You never really listened to a band because it was like too hyped up or whatever, and then like. <laughs> And then, like, later in life, you, like, go and, like, let me check this out. And you're like, oh, my God, this is what I love this band. And so, then, so, so grilled onions are the Drake of vegetables <laughs> for you, basically? I don't love Drake. Yeah, yeah you ain't listened to them enough. Go try some Drake. <laughs> I don't, I, There's a reason okay. that he's a billionaire. Listen, There's he has, reason. like, three types of songs, and I'm a fan of the one type of songs and not so much a fan of the other two. So I only really like about a third or less of his catalog. That's all you need to like for him to continuously gain capital. <laughs> right, exactly. He has enough. It's it's he's he's a genius because he covers many different markets mm -hmm. of the market. He covers the actual rap market. Mm -hmm. He covers the hip hop like dancey market. He covers mm -hmm. the pop market and he covers the R and B love song market. Mm -hmm. He does all. He actually, so he has four. Well. He, he doesn't do as much like rap rap as he used to as his old, as like first CDs. Oh, like yeah. you know, like actual rap style music, but you, like yeah, you probably listen to more Drake than I have in the last couple months or last year. Yeah, because I, I found like a good like handful, maybe like ten or so songs of his that I really like, and I put them in a playlist that I listen to somewhat often. So yeah, whereas I haven't listened to a song in probably about six months. Any songs? <laughs> <laughs> I literally <laughs> not just you, Drake, and it's not you, Drake. It's everybody. Yeah, I don't want Drake to get the wrong idea. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Drake, call me by the way. Yeah, Drake, I, we'll talk about your next. Yeah. Wow, I literally don't think I've listened to a single song <laughs> in six months. And like, it's been well. I don't know, ever since I left my job, because when I was driving around a lot and I had to, like, oh yeah, 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 then I would listen to music. But yeah, no. I haven't listened to a song in a long time. Yeah. Not just like by happenstance. Yeah, yeah, I uh like I always listen to uh like I listen to a podcast or I'll listen to like something on YouTube in my car, but it's never like musical. Yeah. Yeah, I went through a big thing of that, but that was mainly like before like once I got a streaming service like Spotify, yeah. it's helped me with music tremendously because I just didn't know what was out there and didn't know how to really get me like back before you had it readily available like that and you know people used to pirate music all the time but like i didn't it was just like for years i didn't really listen to a lot of new music at all because i was just like eh, not worth my time to try to figure it out and then now i have spotify i'm like oh i can like listen to like these random playlists that have bands i would never you know so i can hear new stuff yeah i don't know for me it's not that i don't enjoy music because i definitely like there's some cds i i have listened to within the last year that I really liked and I really enjoyed and I played them a lot, man. Tyler, the creator, definitely listened to that a hundred thousand times. Love that album. I know you didn't like it. Well, I only listened to it once. I didn't give it a second, like, I didn't give it a second. You, you, you told me it had to, like, uh, percolate in your brain. You gotta I give didn't it a get it at first. I, I, I listened to it in my room when it first came out. I turned it off. I was like, this is awful. <laughs> I listened to it at, at my job and at in the car a couple times. I was like, I absolutely okay. love every so, song. So give me, give me the mindset I should have then, instead of the mindset I probably have when I listen. I don't to it. know. It, it was just it was just a very artistic and very stylized album. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to tell you what mindset. I you just kind of have to like you have to appreciate what the vision that he was going for you just have to be receptive to the vision what was his vision his vision was it was low fidelity it was uh it, it was it was different so like you think in tyler creator you're like all right i'm gonna get some rap he's gonna say uh he's gonna say some racial slurs he's gonna say <laughs> some homophobic stuff and i mean he, he does <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're not stereotyping here. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, he's allowed to say the homophobic stuff because, um, and and he does, but it's just, it's so different from anything else that he's ever put out there, but it, it, it was, I don't know, I found it to be a really, really good album. There was some stuff in there that I... So take it as a, 
a album, not as a Tyler the Creator album. Yeah, and listen and, to it as like music. Just, yeah, skip the intro. There, there you go. <laughs> Skip the intro. Basically, who needs the intro anyway? It's not the greatest intro. Skip that. And then the album's just good. I'll take your word on I'll give it another one. I mean, it did win, like, a Grammy for, like, best album. (laughs) For a reason. I mean, I understand. It won best album? It won best, didn't it? Yeah. I don't, win. I, don't, on. I don't wait a second. I'm like, wow, you're giving it a lot of credit. I don't think it won it anything. It did. We won something. It won an, an Oscar. It won most bad album? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a Grammy. It wasn't a Grammy? Oscars are for movies. What was the name of it? It was Igor. Igor. Accolades. Let's see. Igor. It. 97% like this album and it was a awarded for best album in the world <laughs> wow wow <laughs> i didn't know that was a uh, that was an uh, accolade you could get best album in the world <laughs> awarded Greg. for best album it says that right here nme award for best album. Is that the- like some guy who has a website? He's like, Freaking listen. no, dude. It's here. It just says an M and U. Either way, Joe, it, right. was, it was. It won something from somebody. It won. It, it won. A, it won something. It won, you ain't win nothing. <laughs> What'd you win? I, I did too. I won. You barely won this game. I, right? <laughs> that is all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your mama. Tell her that we need her. For journalists. I want some lasagna. TNT Dynamite. We. <laughs> Or...